Hey guys, Darren here. What can you do that is absolutely free, that helps this channel and does not hurt at all? Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. That goes a long way to helping us go a little bit higher in the rankings and make uh, YouTube love us a little bit more. Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. How about this Critter. What do you think about this? Almost looks like some sort of alien monster. Tomato hornworm. But, let's get a little bit more in depth with it. More to come. Okay, guys, now we're back. Mandula quinquimaculata. Five spotted hawk moth. Or <laughs> the tomato hornworm. How about this booger? And I have them going through what's left. of the garden. We got a wonderful day out here today. It is almost the end of August. September's coming around. We have seasons that are changing and you can see the difference in the days, the way the, the sun comes in and the sun sets. Now, he is a terrible monster, I have to say. And he will wreak havoc on your tomato plants. How do I know? Because he has wreaked havoc on my tomato plants. That is a tomato plant. Now, I will say he has done me a service, roundabouts, because I'm going to take some cuttings and make some clones from these, and that will be in another video, and I was going to have to strip the leaves and the fruit. He did that kind of for me. But, um, I have them coming through. Here's another one. He's pretty good size. Wow, well, we had a had a few others. This one is uh, not looking as spiffy. I don't know why. My grandson was very interested in them, and he asked me not to do anything to them. And I was like, well, boy, that's kind of hard because, you know, the way we always did it was uh, we squish them. But we're not going to squish them. Told them I wouldn't do it. We'll actually throw them to the chicken. And uh, pool chicken will get a treat. Yes, we have a chicken named Pool Chicken. And uh, she lives up by the pool. And she lays eggs in the doghouse, which is... I guess kind of like a pet chicken at this point. But how about these guys? The the horn it, the horn on the end is decorative. Um, but these guys will eat the vegetation off of your tomatoes. They will strip it absolutely bare. Uh, and then they will lay their eggs and uh, and they will do their life cycle. They will die, and uh, and then they will have their moths. And you can see that spine, that little sticky right there, is just decorative. It, it well, actually, it doesn't work. But I just wanted to show you that. And these guys get really big, and they will completely, utterly destroy your tomatoes absolutely will and uh, like I said you can see that this guy is completely eaten down and I saw him and I picked four of them off and I showed them to my grandson and he was excited about it and then I talked to him about them just so he would learn uh, because a lot of people don't you know, don't really see these monsters. And 
then I thought, well, I'll do a video on them. And it's, it's not so bad. Um, the tomatoes have gone into the end of their cycle pretty much. And then the worms come in. It, it, it's, it, it's interesting and almost beautiful how nature sets it up. They have come in at the end of their cycle. Here's another one. And they clean up. So these guys are almost like the guys at the end of the concert that put up all the stuff and sweep the floors at the Coliseum. These are the roadies <laughs> of nature. How about that? And, you know, it, you have to be aware and you have to watch for these guys. I don't do anything uh, chemically out here in this test garden. And this, this is, I call this my test garden because this is all going away very soon. And it's really not a garden, it's more of a classroom. And this is kind of where I learn. And what little I know, I teach people. And... Where people can learn um so it, it's always an experiment up here and it's really cool um these are bioluminescent is what i've been told and you can see them with a uh with an ir light infrared um but just wanted to show you these guys now they are about to go meet the chickens Okay, guys, now, so these guys are about to go out and meet the chickens, and they've done their job, I guess, and I have a few more tomatoes. I have like one or two more tomato sandwiches for this season, because you know how I am about tomato sandwiches, and uh, this is just what we do. Tomato hornworms, a pest, and... A roadie. Take care of your people.